in JavaScript, we have three logical operators. It's OR, AND, and NOT. They are represented by special characters. For OR, we are using two vertical lines. For AND, we are using two ampersands. And for NOT, we are using exclamation sign. In JavaScript, we cannot use letters AND, NOT, OR, just these characters. How we can use them? Let's start from OR. To show you an example, I will use one new tool, it's sources, you can find it and it's snippets. We will create a new snippet. Let's add some name and design. We will write code here and we can execute it. So, for example, or works true or true. Let's run it. To show result, let's use console log. It's one. It's a new function. This function shows shows the result to log to co to the console. Let's run it. So we see result true. For example, if false or true, false or true, the same result true. And uh, we can switch false and true, true and just in case false and false, we will have result false. How it works? We can see that the result is always true except for the case when both operands are false. It means that we will get result true in all cases if we have at least one true. If we have all false, we will have false. So in classical programming, the logical OR is meant to manipulate Boolean variables, Boolean values only. But in JavaScript, the operator is a little bit trickier and more powerful. But in JavaScript, it's more powerful and it can work with logical values and numbers and strings. For example, let's try use number. What we will see, result will be one, one because of we compare one or false and it returns the result one because of this section wasn't executed. Let's try another case, true and uh, three, for example, we will get true result. So it means we will get the same true result of this operator. The same, we can use uh, not only booleans, but all numbers. Let's try four. Let me show you some sample. For example, let's create uh, Usually we use logical operators in conditional operators. For example, in if we can use if our is more for or our is less than 12. Let's try. Yes, it works because of we use two parts. If our is more than four and our is less than 13. One more sample how we can use this operator in real life. Let's take a look on this code, how it works. So we have current user, right now it's null. If it's null, for example, we will use the next value. It will be default user. And if even this won't be a string with some values, we will use the last part, it's some default value we assigned directly. Let's try it. So this is a John. So we, it was this variable. So we assigned the name with uh, one of true variables. All these variables were converted to boolean and in the result we have string with the value John. Okay, let's go to end operator. So we will see that result will be if both parts are true, just in this case, we will have true result. In case one of them is false, we will have false result. We can try, we will see that false, 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 and the first one was true. Sample we can use, it's similar to the first one. 
with our n minutes. So we see that if our is 12 and minutes is 30, we can show some notification. Let's try. Yes. Also, we can use this operator with numbers and strings. Let me show you one simple case. It's um, we can console log, for example, zero and uh, hello message. In this case, we will see that it will be zero and it won't be executed because of the first part was evaluated as false and this wasn't executed. To show you more useful sample, let's use if use con So we will use confirm function and if result will be true of this function we will alert some message. Let's try. So this page if true we, sh we show this message. Let's try again if cancel result will be false and this part won't be executed. So the end operator does the following. It evaluates operands from left to right. So the first one will be this checked. If it's true, then we go to the next one. If it's false, all other part won't be executed. For each operand, it converts to a boolean. If the result false, it stops execution and uh, the next part won't be executed at all. If all operands have been evaluated and all were true, returns last operand. So if this one was true, it returns and this one was true, it will return this part of the code. And now let's talk about uh, NOT. The boolean NOT operator is represented with the exclamation sign NOT and uh, it converts value, boolean values for opposite. For example, Let's try, take a look. So, so let's see that, let's run again. In first case it was true, but then with the NOT operator it was false. At the same time we can use them for boolean numbers and for string. For example, it will convert string to boolean variable. So we see that it was hello, yes, but then we convert it to false. Also what we can use is a double node. Double node is something used for converting a value to boolean type. For example, we have hello, but hello is a string and it's not empty string, it means it's true. So, but in this case it was false, to convert it absolutely to, to boolean value, boolean type, we can use double and uh, let's run it. So we will see that it was hello and uh, this value is true. In case it will be zero, for example, what we will see, true as well, because of string wasn't converted to number, it was converted to boolean, it's not empty. But in case we will use zero, let's run, we will have false. So summary, we have in JavaScript three logical operators OR, AND and NOT. NOT we can use when we use two NOT operators and it will convert value to boolean type. It's really very often used in programming, so remember this approach.